Hi, I'm Benji, and I'm a senior product designer at Bodywear Lab. We are a design and manufacturing studio based in London, and we are in collaboration with Style3D Assist to utilise their innovative technologies to enhance our design and manufacturing process. We have recently completed a project with Lycra, and this demonstration will be a client case study. We're going to talk about how we have used Style3D technology to simulate fabric in a digital space. We are also going to look at how this information can be applied to a garment and how we can use digital fits, stress mapping, heat mapping technology to reduce samples, check and fit in, in digital before a sample is made. For this project, there were two types of material that was used. We had the, the main fabric and also the, the contrast fabric. And for, for this demonstration, I thought it was best to just focus on one, one material. So we focused on the, the contrast fabric. So this is the fabric scanner. And this is what it looks like actually in Star 3D fabric technology. So you can see the fabric scanner is a light box and there is a camera on the top which allows for an image to be taken of the material. What I find interesting also is the ability to not only take a scan of the front, the face side of the material, but also the back side. So there's me flipping the material over and this is what that looks like in the, in the software. So both the front and the the back, the wrong side of the material. In an ideal world, the fabric would be put into the scanner and then you would be able to directly take that and put it onto your 3D garment. However, um, there is a little bit of a clean, clean up that needs to happen with the image. And thankfully, the Style 3D fabric software has some amazing features which allow you to do this cleanup process. And this is just a sped up video of me doing this with the uh, contrast material. And I also wanted to mention that the cleanup is applied to all of the PBR maps, which is incredible, it's so helpful. Then we take this visual data, this information, and we can apply it to our garment. And I think what's incredible also is how we are able to view both the, the front side of the material and, as you can see in the garment, the, the back as well. Moving on to the physical properties of the material, the first thing we do is we weigh the material. So the, the fabric is cut uh, into strips. There is one on the warp, one on the weft and one on the bias. And uh, putting the three strips onto the scales and then the value that you get with the three strips is divided by three in order to get the average weight of each strip in grams and then the software when you input that in will automatically calculate the GSM based on the dimensions of the strip. The fabric thickness is taken using this device and you put the strip in and it's quite easy to use. Then you use that value in Style3D Fabric. And what I wanted to do here was you use the actual value from the, the material that you have. I want to show an exaggeration on, on if you had a really high value for the thickness and also a really low value. So this is me exaggerating it, making it look thicker and then also bringing it down again. With the fabric stretch machine, you take uh, your three different strips, the warp, the weft, and the bias, and you use it to measure the stretch, which means that when you simulate the material in a digital 3D space, then you, you will get an accurate simulation of the stretch. The bending machine allows us to accurately simulate the drape of the material, and the machine works by feeding the strips through, again, the warp, weft and bias, and the strip will go over an edge, and the extent to which it falls um, over that edge will determine the, uh, the bending values that you get for the material. 
The values are then fed into Stealthy D Fabric. And what I'm doing here is I'm showing how if you were to reduce the bending right down, what happens. And then I've also shown the opposite here, where if it was more like a leather, then it would drape more in this way, as opposed to what you can see here. Now that we have gathered all that information about our material, we can apply it to our digital garment. And with the soft body technology, what that means is that any part of the body that should uh, move with gravity or should be compressed by the material actually does. So this clip here shows this happening in action. What I'm doing here is I'm applying the soft body and you can see here that the material that we've chosen for this garment and the pattern that we've used for it actually does a good job of compressing and this is what you would want out of this type of garment. We also have it in an animated form and I think it's really interesting because you can see a slight change in the stress mapping. It looks a little bit like a heat map. And what's also interesting is how, if you were to, if you compare this now to the uh, this other clip, is that you can see the fabric behaving in the way it should. So it's applying a pressure where it should. Um, you can see the concave of the back, meaning there, there's not so much force being applied on the body by the material, which would be accurate to a physical garment. Thank you so much for watching this demonstration. I've put up here the QR codes for both ourselves, our Bodywear Lab and Style3D and Assist. Please do not hesitate to get in contact if you are interested at all about our services.